Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Stoka stroller system, and this is the Stoka Explory. So this is the one that's made for all terrain, and I have a lot of different attachments for it that I'm gonna show you guys today. So right now I have the car seat attachment on it because that's the first thing that we're ever gonna use for Skyla when she arrives. And I'll show you what it looks like with all the different attachments. I'm gonna show you how to take them off and put them back on. And I'm gonna start with showing you the features of the Stocky Pipa by Nuna car seat and baby carrier. So when you get your car seat, this is what comes with it. This is the little manual. It has how to do everything. And it comes with some extra parts here so that you can attach the car seat base to your car. This is the handle, obviously, that you carry it with. It has this little hood right here. If it's a hot day, this part unzips and it snaps up right here and you've got a little mesh area so that the baby can get a little extra air. The hood also folds completely down like this so that they can be right out in the open. You've got your strap system right here. It has a little interior infant insert and it's just got this really cute gray I just love the coloring of this car seat I just think that it's such a nice combo and it goes really well with the stroller setup now when you attach this car seat to your Stokey Explory stroller there are these green colors there's one on each side and this green color right here means that it's clipped in correctly this button right here does not actually take the car seat off. It looks as though you would pull this in and lift and that would take the car seat off, but that's not what this is for. This is you push this in on both sides and it moves this um, holder for you, um, back or forward, however you want it to be moved. When you're ready to take this car seat off of the Stokey system, you'll use both your hands and push. This is a button right here and this is a button right here. And you will use your thumbs to push down and just pull the car seat straight off of the Stokey system and it'll unlock for you. You're gonna push down on these two white buttons and pull it straight off. When you're ready to put it back on, there are these little holes right here in the bottom and you can see these two levers right here. They're gonna slide right on, very easy. Make sure that it's in correctly. And as soon as you see that it turns green, it's in there secure. Now that I've showed you how the car seat works and the features of the car seat, I'm going to remove it and show you what this guy looks like all by itself. This is what the base system looks like all by itself. This white lever right here in front is going to pull this higher, like the handlebar higher or lower. So if you want to lower the handlebar, you pull this and then you'll push down. And that'll make it really low. When you want to pull it up, you do the opposite and I like mine really high so now we'll move on to the handle if you want to take this handle and move it down you can move it down like this you can move it up and it'll snap into two different situations I'm not exactly sure what this strap is for but it has a bunch of warning signs on it um, I don't know if it's a handle or what exactly it's for but um, there's this little fabric attachment on it like this. If you want to go ahead and close the stroller, you're going to grab this lever right here, pull in, it'll do a little upwards motion, then you take your foot, push on this bottom lever, and it closes it up like that for you. So now it looks like a little segue. When you're ready to open it back up, grab this lever again, and it pulls out nicely for you like that. Now you're going to see this little white kind of like a little handle situation going on down here. When you, if you want to move like where the car seat or whatever attachment you have on it, if you want to move that part up or down, this is where you'll go. So you lift this up and this is how it is all the way down. Then you want to lock it back in like this. Open it up, pull it all the way to the top, lock it in, just depending on how high you want the seat to be. These wheels back here have a safety brake. So if you don't want the car seat to move any, if you don't want the stroller to move anywhere, push this down and that's like the brake. Push it again and you're off. Now, the front wheels, they have, do you see how they kind of flipped around like that? You can have that feature on 
or off. If you don't want the wheels to rotate in a 360 motion, make sure that these little whitish gray parts are facing forward and that they're snapped up. If they can be down, that means it can rotate in a 360. If they're snapped up, facing forward, the wheels can only go forward and they won't be able to rotate all the way around. If you buy the Staka Explory, it does not come with the carry pot. This is a separate attachment. And if you have, if you also have the car seat attachment, you can carry your infant around in the car seat attachment. But if you want something for them to be able to lay flat, this is a um, option for you. Now, this also has the net, so if it's a hot day, you can open up the net with this little snap right here. And if it's a cold day, you can unsnap it, and it has a zip right here, and you can just zip it up to keep them warm. You can obviously also push the hood back if you want to. This is an optional attachment right here that removes with these two snaps. Or it has a zipper right here, so you can just fold it up. Once again, there's going to be a green color showing here if it's on correctly, but when you're ready to take this off, there are these straps that pull out like this so that you can carry it around by these two straps. The first step to removing this is there is a little white button right here, right in the front. There's a separate attachment that helps hold this on and secure it in the front. So this attachment, there's like a little button you can click down. So now that this clip is loose, I'm going to pull these two like this. handle right here so that I can carry the infant cot just like this. Now I'm going to show you how to remove this hood because some people find this very hard. Nick and I did at first and there's really no instructions that tell you how to do this. But when you're ready to remove this hood, these little connections right here, this little connection right here can be tricky to get off. So if you feel on the inside, there are like two little prongs and if you just punch them out, you just push. It's like a button. It'll pull it out like this for you. Same thing on this side. Find the two little prongs, squeeze them together, and push out, and that'll help that come off. Now, before you can take it fully off, you need to unzip. And it removes like that. When your baby gets a little bit older, this is what you would switch him or her to. There is a baby insert in here so that um, smaller babies can be in this seat, but it's not really recommended for babies under six months old. So this is what you would switch them to once they're about six months old, although some people do do it sooner because I'll show you right here. There's a button in the back right here that allows the seat to move forward, to move back to like a horizontal position and you can also move it forward like this for the older that they get. And then this also has a button that pulls out that is supposed to grow with them. So there's different like links that this can reach to. It has a safety bar right here. It has the safety harnesses inside. I have the baby wedge in it, which is removable as they get older. There are a lot of different strollers to choose from, but the main reason that I wanted to go with the Sto Stoka is because, I always say this wrong, I want to just call it Stoki at first, but when I looked it up, it's actually pronounced um, Stoka. So, the reason we went with Stoka is because I really liked the fact that you could lift it as high as you wanted so that you could be really close to the baby and not like bending over all the time. Um, I just, I, I also liked how it's all terrain. I, we have a ranch and it's just, it makes more sense for me. I can take it jogging, I can take it pretty much anywhere. And especially with all the attachments, I just think that it's a really practical stroller. It's a lot of, it's a lot higher of a price and it just depends on really what's important to you. Now I'm gonna show you some more attachments that you can add to your stroller that'll make the overall experience even better. And now I've added the rain cover, which looks a little bit scary, but it does have a hole right here for them. And now I have the lovely mosquito net attachment on it. The carry cot also works with the mosquito net 
as well as the rain cover. I actually have two rain covers, one for each thing. Um, this is probably supposed to come back further or maybe push the hood back, but you get the idea of um, the different attachments that go on it, which I think is really cool. So to store everything in, like your mosquito net and your rain cover, there is this little bag that comes with the regular Staka Explory, um, just the, when you buy the basics for the stroller, this comes with it. And it has these little attachments right here that snap into these little, little compartments right here. You just press it in on each side and it's hold, it holds it in really nicely. So it's not going anywhere. So you can add more things to that if you want to. There's also a little diaper bag attachment that you can buy that snaps in. Um, somehow, I don't have that, but you there is an attachment that you can use if you wanna carry with you like a diaper bag. I think there's even one that, I might be mistaken, but one that goes across the back as well if you wanna add a bag. There's also a cup holder attachment that I'm gonna get, and I think it attaches around the handlebar. Um, to put your drink right here. I'm gonna, definitely gonna get that one. I really want it But now I'm gonna show you the parasol attachment that I do have And now I have the parasol attachment attached to my stucca guys I love my travel system I'm so excited to use it with Skyla the next thing that I want from them is their trip trip trap which is a high chair and I think they're awesome so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it leave your comments and let me know what you think if this is something that you guys would be interested in getting your baby or what you're using instead and I will see you guys on Wednesday for my 28 weeks pregnancy update bye